The beautiful pine forest west of the plant absorbs so much radiation that the trees die and turn a ghostly gingerbrown color, earning it the name the Red Forest. The fire in the reactor core rages for 10 days. A nuclear volcano spewing a cloud of radioactive isotopes, cesium-137, iodine-131, strontium-90 that drifts across Ukraine, Belarus, and then across Scandinavia and Western Europe. On April 28, workers at a nuclear plant in Sweden detect abnormally high radiation levels on their shoes. And the world finally learns that a major nuclear accident has occurred somewhere in the Soviet Union. The containment effort is an unprecedented and desperate struggle. It falls to a group of men who would become known as the liquidators. In the coming years, around 600,000 brave soldiers, miners, engineers, and volunteers from all across the Soviet Union will come together to tackle the massive cleanup from the disaster. It's a war against an invisible enemy. Helicopter pilots fly daring missions directly over the exposed core, dropping thousands of tons of sand, clay, lead, and boron to smother the fire and absorb the radiation. Miners are brought in to dig a tunnel beneath the reactor to install a cooling system to prevent the molten core from melting through the concrete foundation and contaminating the groundwater China syndrome scenario. They work in extreme heat and high radiation, digging with their bare hands in near darkness. On the roof, where the radiation is deadliest, remote controlled robots are sent to clear the radioactive debris. But the intense radiation fries their electronics. The job must be done by humans.